What's good everybody, it's Shin, and today I'm coming to you from the Fresh Buffet here at the Westgate Resort and Casino. Now, the Fresh Buffet just reopened their doors as of February in 2022, and I'm gonna be going in for breakfast today. Now, if you would like to take a look at what food offerings they have available without any of my thoughts on it, I'll have a video right above. All right, and with that, let's check out the buffet. Okay guys, so we just got seated here at the Fresh Buffet and I gotta tell you, I'm actually really liking the look in here. It's immaculately clean, I really appreciate that. And it's low key, very inviting, very comfortable in here actually. Now, the Fresh Buffet is open for brunch on weekends from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. and that's gonna run you $26.99. Now, Monday through Friday, you're looking at two different services, breakfast and lunch. Breakfast starts at 7 a.m. and goes to 11, and lunch starts from 11 and goes till 2. Now, for breakfast, you're looking at paying $19.99, and lunch, you're gonna be paying $22.99. Super quick note about the weekday hours here, make sure you call ahead, because their hours of operations are based on their hotel occupancy, but they are always open for weekend brunch. And that's all of the info, let's go check out that buffet. All right, guys, so let me give you a tour of the buffet real quick. Looks like we've got a, a fruit salad bar yeah. here. Got assorted yogurts here, granola. Looks like some, uh, some nice healthy salads. Got the carvery here, guys. Looking pretty good. Got a beef belly, some kielbasa sausage and a ham. What's that one in the corner? Okay. Pork belly, nice. Fruits. Got the omelet station back there. Man's hard at work. We got breads here, assorted breads. Some assorted cheeses as well. Various toppings. You got your uh, dressings here. All your various healthy salad options. Most likely that I'll be skipping. Nice. All right, let me give you guys a tour of the uh, the main station. Looks like a uh, got some oatmeal, sesame balls. So a couple of Asian options: some sesame donuts, some uh, pork buns, and then yes, comfort food. Oh, we got hard-boiled eggs too. I haven't really seen that too often at a buffet. That's pretty cool. Various sauces for you guys. Looks like some churros. There are uh, missing cinnamon rolls here, but I'm sure they'll come out eventually. We got some corn tamales, ranchera beans and Spanish rice. Got some Belgian waffles here. Oh, and they're covered. That's cool. Some strawberry compost syrup. Looks pretty good. Right, you got all your breakfast standards. Eggs, bacon, sausage. Yeah, sausage. We got some hash browns. Pancakes, ooh, blueberry pancakes too. I'm gonna definitely get in on that. We got the French toast. Give you guys a quick look at the desserts here. Ice cream machine, toast bar, various types of toast. We got mini bagels, white toast, other mini bagels. Looks pretty good. Some peanut butter. And then yeah, here's the desserts. Got some cherry pie, pecan pie. Apple pie, tons of pie. Sorted muffins, donuts, cookies, eclairs, little pies and brownies. Got turnovers here, looks pretty good. The bread. More brownies, more muffins. Got a couple danishes here. That looks pretty good. Raspberry swirl cake. Oh, and then I see what I want to get. You know I'm all about that bread pudding. Let's go. Bananas. More action at the omelet station there. You know it's all about that vanilla sauce. And I think that's a uh, quick tour of the buffet here, guys. Oh, we also have some beverage stations. But uh, they actually did have servers give us beverages. So I'm not sure if that's just because of the current pandemic times, but yeah. All right, looks pretty good. All right, guys, and we are back with plate number one. Very classic breakfast here. We've got waffles, French toast, pancakes, blueberry pancakes. I've got over medium eggs, fresh from the omelet station. I've got 
hash browns, sausage link, and sausage patty, and some bacon. And I'm really excited to go in on some of this stuff right now. First up is this breakfast sausage. Looks nice and plump, lots of volume. Let's give it a taste. Whoa, the juice is literally just gushed out as soon as I've been into it. Nice snap, good pork flavor. Mmm, that yeah, was pretty good. This is such a good, super meaty breakfast sausage. As soon as I saw it on the line, I knew I had to get it on these hash browns. They're shaped just like McDonald's ones, and you know if they taste anything near as good as the one from Mickey D's, these are gonna be phenomenal. Even at first feel, they're nice and crispy, they're hot. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Oh yeah. Very reminiscent of McDonald's flavor. Nice and salty, it's hot, crispy on the outside. Good chew on the inside on those potatoes. I'm going back for so many of these. Let's get in on some of this bacon. At first glance, it looks pretty good. It's not bad. Yeah, the fat's been rendered out. It's not that crispy though. I, would have, I was expecting more of a crunch. It's a little softer than I would typically like my bacon, but you know, different strokes, different folks. And now it's time to go in on this breakfast sausage patty. I'm not sure how much of this is gonna differ from the sausage link, but if it's anywhere near as good as that sausage link, this should be a treat. Mm. It's not bad. It's a little overcooked for my taste. I'm not sure if that's just because it's been under the heat lamps for a while. But it is a little dry. Texture's not great to bite into. I think I'm gonna stick with those sausage links. Now I know every buffet has scrambled eggs, but I love over medium eggs, and I always appreciate that every omelet station is willing to make me fresh over medium eggs. I watched the chef put in a fair amount of butter, so these should taste fantastic. Mm. Those are great. Now I love waffles. I really hope that the ones here at the Fresh Buffet are good. Mmm. Those waffles are awesome. Nice and fluffy on the inside. Great crunch on the outside. If you guys have ever had Stroop waffles, there's a bit of a candy coating on the outside of these. It's so good. All right, let's try these pancakes. First glance, they look nice and fluffy. The top look a little overcooked for me, but I guess we'll see how it tastes. Well, first things first, they're a little dry, unfortunately, but the flavor of the pancakes is actually quite good. You can actually taste a bit of the vanilla, but I think maybe the blueberry pancake is gonna be where the flavor is at. Nice big chunks of blueberry. See if this is any good. Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. But maybe those blueberries gave it a little extra moisture. Let's see how the French toast stacks up. It feels soft, it feels fluffy. Let's see how it tastes. That's not bad. Cinnamon, sugar, you can taste the vanilla. Everything that you want in French toast is here. But of the three breakfast carbs, waffles 100% the way to go. Ah, now that was delicious. So let's get plate number two. Okay guys, and I'm back with plate number two. And plate number two is a lot of comfort food. I've got biscuits and gravy, chicken fried steak. I've got a slice of ham over from the carvery as well as a slice of that pork belly. And I just got a quick slice of toast to help balance out a bit of the richness. Okay, first things first, let's try these biscuits and gravy. Now putting my fork in the biscuit did feel a little bit dry. Hopefully it still tastes good though. It's okay. Biscuits definitely dry. I don't know if that's because they've been out for so long, but the biscuits can definitely use some more moisture. Okay. The gravy is just okay. I feel like it still needs a little more black pepper, some spice, and it's a little watery for me. I wish it was a little bit thicker. All right, country fried steak is up next. Mm. That's actually pretty good. The beef and the coating are well seasoned. Nice and tender on the inside. Overall, a really solid country fried steak. Now I wanna go in on this ham from the Carvery. 
You can still see some of the juices flowing out here. Bits of fat glistening in the light. Let's give it a bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that ham is great. Solid pork flavor, well cured, salty. No real complaining about that ham. And last but not least on this plate, a little bit of that pork belly. You can see all that juicy fat on this meat. Looking very inviting. Wants me to eat it immediately. Let's not give it any more time. Mmm. Oh, that pork belly is really good. To put a little bit of sugar on the outside and give it a little sweet coating. Oh, but the nice porky flavor is really coming through. There's also a bit of smokiness too. Now you can actually see the smoke ring right next to that glistening fat. This is truly delicious. Mm. Ooh, and I gotta say guys, I am stuffed. I'm usually not much of a breakfast eater, but I really went in on this buffet. But you know what time it is? It's time to activate the dessert stomach. All right guys, and we are back with dessert. And just two real quick simple items here for me today. I've got a plain glazed donut. It is breakfast time after all. And my favorite, bread pudding. First, let's go in on this donut. Mm. The glaze, the sugar, the sweet, perfectly on point. But it's so doughy. It needs to be much more airy for it to be satisfying as a donut. But as a sugar bread? Not bad. Next up is this bread pudding. Wow, this bread pudding is so soft. It just disintegrates at the touch of a fork. It's so light, so airy looking. Let's give it a try. Oh my God, that's good. It is so fluffy, so airy. The vanilla sauce adds such great sweetness. The eggy custard in the middle of this is just delicious. <laughs> oh yeah. Absolutely smashed the rest of that bread pudding. It was so good. Okay guys, and I hope you enjoyed your time here with me at the Fresh Buffet. I really enjoyed my breakfast today. The chicken fried steak and the pork belly were real winners. And I gotta say, that hash brown patty, it was just like having unlimited McDonald's. It was great. And when you really think about coming in here for about 20 bucks for breakfast, I feel like I had such a great value for a breakfast buffet. Now, if you enjoyed yourself, I'd appreciate a thumbs up on this video and comment below what are some other buffets you would like me to check out. And that's all for this video. Have a great day, and I hope you've enjoyed Vegas with me. Shin, bye.